As the young Christian church was forming and building its structure, some challenges arose, one of which was the overburdening of the work on the apostles. Inevitably, some believers were not getting the attention and service that they needed and there was some early tension between the Grecian and Hebrew believers with the Grecians saying that their widows were being neglected. From a situation that could have splintered and torn the young church apart came a form of structure and organisation that strengthened it, providing us with functions and roles that we still have today. Rather than the apostles having the responsibility to look after the poor, they could focus all their time to the ministry of the word and prayer. In order to facilitate this, they chose seven men of honest report who were full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. These seven men were Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, Nicholas, and Stephen. These men were prayed over and after this division of the tasks, the Bible says in Acts chapter 6 that the word of God increased and the number of disciples multiplied. A situation that could have divided the church instead caused it to structure and strengthen. Of these, the most well known was Stephen. Stephen was the most gifted and when he spoke his adversaries could find no fault in him so instead they used a charge of blasphemy and brought him before the high priest. Here he had an opportunity to answer to his accusers and he was able to defend his faith and in Acts chapter 7 is basically a transcript of what he said. He starts with Jewish history from the time of Moses to David to Solomon and comes all the way down to his day where he says that they killed the just one or the Messiah. It was at this point that his audience couldn't take it anymore. They had heard enough. And despite not giving him a fair trial or there being any legal proceedings, he was taken out of the city and Acts chapter 7 says he was stoned to death. The first martyr of the Christian faith died a cruel and gruesome death with no trial at the hands of an angry mob. He died like many who came after him would, with a peace in his heart and a love for his attackers, for his last words were a prayer to God where he asked him not to lay the charge of killing him on them. The Bible then says that he fell asleep, one of the clearest places in scripture where death is likened to sleep. In Acts chapter 7 and verse 58, the Bible says that those who stoned Stephen laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. This seemingly small point is not written for no reason. The fact that Saul is mentioned is important because no doubt the image of Stephen dying with a peace and a calmness on his face was an image that he could not get out of his mind. Though the ministry of Stephen was probably not long from the time of his ordination until his death, the impact lived on because his martyrdom was witnessed by the man who would later on be converted a few chapters on in the book of Acts. Imagine the scene when they meet in heaven, no doubt Stephen rejoicing because he died with a love for his attackers. The old adage that the blood of Christians is seed to the gospel came true for him personally. May we have a love, a forbearance, and a patience with other people, especially those who persecute us.